Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry. Hey everyone, this is Outdoor Travel Channel. Yes, we're cooking once again with the Traeger. And uh, my Costco Traeger here is uh, working away. And, and so I wanted to make my video a little bit shorter this time. Today we're making pulled pork. <laughs> yeah. So what I did is I went to Safeway and I bought a pork uh, shoulder butt with a bone in it and about five five and a half pounds something like that so instead of showing you everything here so I took it trimmed off the fat then I I like to coat it with olive oil and then salted it a little bit and then put uh, a garlic uh, spice that I, I kind of my favorite all over it and peppered it up really good too so now it's a long process so I'll be cooking all day long so what I'm doing now is I put a uh, thermometer in it and we need to cook it up to 160 degrees internally so right now we're sitting at 126 so it's already been in there for like two hours and so what we're going to do is take it up to 160 degrees. Then we're going to pull it and then wrap it in uh, double. I'm going to double up the tin foil, wrap it, and then add apple juice to it and seal it up and then cook it to about a 200 degree temperature. I'll check on that in a little bit here. Uh, but right now we're just doing this slow cook and it's going to take probably three to four hours first before we do the apple juice addition. Then after we cook it and get it to a certain temperature, uh, we're going to uh, probably put it back in to uh, uh, finish it up and then we'll pull apart and <laughs> make all kinds of yummy sandwiches. But here, let's take a peek. So there she is, right there. That's my first peek at it too, and darn it looks good. So, we got a ways to go, so hang in there guys. We'll, uh, I'll pull it and then add the apple juice. We'll show you that part, and then we'll put it back in and tell you a little more. Uh, one more addition I wanted to let you know is I'm cooking at a 250 degrees uh, on the settings, and I'm using alder uh, pellets. So, let's start cooking. So I bet you're wondering why Rob would have a water dog in Arizona. Well, let's see. One ball, one dog, one ball. One soggy doggy. Let's get back to cooking. Hi guys, I got one more little trigger trick I wanted to show you. Right in here, you know everybody has a bucket to drain their oil into? Well, if you got a chocolate lab, like mine, they like to get into the oil. So I put a little protective tin foil around it just to keep the puppy out of there. So it helps. Works good. Cheap. And the other tip I wanted to show you is always have tons of tin foil. So at Safeway, I can get this stuff pretty cheap. So I always get the large and the small heavy duty because you'll be wrapping your meat and we're gonna be doing that today. So lots of tin foil, guys. Well, we finally hit 160 degrees. It's taken over four hours. And what we're gonna do now is pull the pork out and we're gonna take it in the kitchen, put it on tin foil, and we're gonna add apple juice. about two cups, I'm a little bit shy of two cups. So 
now we're going to put this bad boy back into the trigger. We're going to put the thermometer back in and we're going to continue to cook it at 250 until it reaches 204 degrees. All right, so thermometer back in. So now we'll be cooking for another three to four hours till we reach 204 degrees. Once we pull the pork, then we're going to let it sit for another 45 minutes. Then we're going to pull it apart and enjoy. All right, she came up the temperature and now we just pulled it out. It's been eight hours that we've been cooking this. So now we're going to let her sit for 45 minutes and dig in. All righty, last thing we did was we poured the juice out through a strainer. And we're going to put that back in the pulled pork after we pull the part. Just started to dive into it. I think it's time to taste it. All right, here goes nothing, guys. Oh, man. That's pretty yummy. Good stuff. So there you go, guys. Pulled pork. And that's going to feed us for a while. So this is the finished product. We uh, poured the juice on it, like, like so, mixed it in, gave it a lot more moisture. You can't even see the juice at the bottom. Anyway, and there's very little left. Anyway, and it tastes fantastic. So there you go, guys. Pulled pork. Oh yeah, that was yummy. Hey guys, thanks for joining us making pulled pork. Please take the time to subscribe and check some of our previous videos. Thank you, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye now.